It's back to school as we're in Sweden to look at the academy that produces some of the world's elite snowboarders. The school is very important for the development for the young riders in Sweden uh, because it's the best and pretty much the only place where you can get time to focus on an elite level while you are in school. Basically, it's a snowboard high school for like elite snowboard and it's pretty rare. It's mostly in Sweden and Norway they have it. You manage to do school at the same time as starting your elite snowboard career pretty much. So they're super supportive with like you go into contest or traveling and the teachers were always like helping me out to still manage school. Uh, and without that school, I would probably never be able to finish school the way I did. I moved from home when I was 15 to that school, so you don't live at home anymore. And it's like four hours from Stockholm. So I was, had your own apartment, it made you grow up a lot faster than most of your friends. They kind of stepped it up a uh, notch. When I, when I was in the school, we did like trampoline and gym and stuff, but now they have like a new trampolines and foam pits and everything so they can like train and they're not snowboarding in a really good way. And right now we're at the Malung Snowboard School and this is their new kind of factory as they call it. So basically you have this to train on whenever you want and uh, you have the gym right here and class classrooms upstairs so it's a pretty sweet uh, school to be at. These ones are kind of like normal trampolines and you can jump into the foam pit so you can basically land on your head and it's still nice. You kind of just practice air control I would say. Just know where you are in the air really helps when you snowboard. And this is the hard part. <laughs> to get out of this. And that's a bigger one that you can... It's a, it got a better bounce I think. You, you kind of go bigger on a snowboard. It's like a small jump on a snowboard. <laughs> like for me at least, it's not like I'm doing the same tricks as I'm doing on my snowboard. So it's not like I can learn all the tricks here, but for sure it helps you to have more control in the air. If you never spawn, like let's say you spin like a double slip in one direction, you never do it on your snowboard, it definitely it's good to have done something similar before you do it on snow. So yeah, it's definitely good for the for all the students to be here and, and train how much they want. So and it's pretty fun. As you can see, it's like more about like Olympic lifting and uh, not too many like machines that are locked into one thing. So I think it's way better to do it with free weights. It's not as important to just be fit because it's more about how how you like how your creativity works and that's cool with snowboarding because it's not only about how strong you are. The school was actually pretty like it was more uh, involved with like athlete stuff or like that kind of stuff but also like all the basic stuff like mathematics and uh, all that normal normal school stuff I guess. When I look for which guys to pick out for the national team. I always discuss it a lot with the coaches at the Snowboard Academy here in Sweden where most top athletes of the young guns go. And at the end of the season, depending on contest results, improvements in tricks, I take into consideration and uh, uh, I try to pick the team for the next season. The school is quite small because it's only five riders uh, picked every year to get into the school. So it's kind of like a really elite school. They progress so fast when they start in that school. And it's just fun to ride with them and try to support them. And you can really see yourself in them like a few years back. So it's, it's pretty cool. 